Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show how to create a cool 3D Instagram illusion in Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. First let's see what we need to achieve this trick. I prepared this composition with a couple of Instagram screenshots where we can place our shot. For the shot I used a green screen which basically represents the edge of the Instagram post. Then I recorded another shot of me scrolling on the phone with a green background on the screen. We'll replace the screen later. Now let's bring this into After Effects. We need to align the green screen edge with the edge of the Instagram post. So first let's key out the green screen. I'm gonna use the key light effect, tweak some settings, and set a view to intermediate result. Then I'll add a advanced spill suppressor effect to get rid of the green spill. Now scale and position the green screen clip to match it with the Instagram post edge. I also wanted to add a like, so I trimmed the hard layer to the point where I touched the button. And it's already looking fine. Next I created this very tall composition with a couple of Instagram posts and placed our 3D post at the bottom. I'll use this comp to imitate the Instagram scrolling. So I took this tall composition and placed it into a regular sized comp which will represent our phone screen. Now we can move it like this and create a scrolling animation. Of course I added a navigation bar at the bottom and at the top as well to create the Instagram interface. Then I grabbed this shot of me scrolling on the phone and removed the green screen. Now we can place our Instagram video into the phone. I placed this comp below the phone shot, adjusted the scale and used the CC power pin effect to match the video with the phone screen. To bring back the screen reflection, duplicate the phone video and remove the key light effect. Then change the blending mode to screen and place the layer below the main shot but on top of the Instagram video. And reduce the opacity. Furthermore, I went back to the Instagram comp and keyframed the position to create the scrolling animations. Finally, you can add some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.